you are watching of course for live i'm with ivan here from youtube channel football stalkers the game is finished FIFA united no kind of chiefs one we're taking three points again we're still on top of the league it's all about saturday now it's going down to the wire my brother what did you think how are you feeling well okay first of all man i know um you hear people saying, yeah, from a neutral point of view, I like things to go to the wire and all that. No, I don't prefer it that way. I prefer the league to be wrapped up before the last game. That's, that's me. That's how I want it. Mm. Um, the stress levels of having to check in on what's going on the other side and all that, especially given the fact that Sundowns is behind on goal difference. So mm. that's not the position that you want to find yourself in where you know, you're on a back foot. So, mm. yeah. But um, tonight, tonight's games, Sun Nouns, um, three points. Um, I guess at this point, you know, people say, yeah, three points is important and all that. But I think at this stage, just winning a game is not enough. You know, you need to win by a big margin to close the, the goal difference. Mm. And I feel in some cases, Sun Nouns were too... They didn't look like a team that wanted to to score a lot of goals, you know. And on the chief side, you know, there are some decisions that <laughs> like, oh my, at this stage of the season, and you make such decision, and you're like, oh no, man, you know. So and then what decisions you know, as, are you talking about, Ivan? What decisions are these you talking about? Tell us what these decisions. Oh, my God, the goal. Which the goal. one? Which one? The billiard goal. The, the cheaper United goal. Of, there you was, know which goal there was goal. no, don't, there was no cheaper United goal. The, the game finished one nil. <laughs> uh, so tell me about this. Hey, honestly, did you see? Did you see it? Did you see what happened then? I did. I did. I saw. And what did you think? I saw the highlights. It's a goal. Why? Kune fumbled. Kune fumbled, and he he's gonna win an Oscar for the performance he gave. <laughs> <laughs> he duped, duped the he duped the referee. The referee bought it, and he gave it as a foul. I I just said I don't know if you know DJ Luke earlier. I had DJ Luke just before you, Jordan, and mm-hmm. he says if you the, the cameras had only shown one angle. If you look at all the angles which he saw, I I, I saw two two angles. And he said, from the other angle, you can see the cheaper United player elbowing him. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't. Um, okay, look, he says what he says. This is what I saw from the two angles. Mm. So you've got a gay, mm. and you've got the 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 cheaper United player. I forgot his name. Kune came out, and as and as he was coming out. It was one of those, you know, Kune likes coming out, mm. maybe either punches the ball away or something. So he, mis- mm. he misjudged that ball. It was too far away. Mm. But when he wanted to step back, his then leg slipped. And then he thought, the cheaper United player was not even close. The only closest player next to Kune was a gay, not the cheaper United player. So if there's going to be any form of contact, whether you speak about an elbow or whatever, then it, it is with the Chiefs player, not cheaper, because the distance between Kuna and the Chipa United player was very evident. Mm. There was not even a touch whatsoever. That's why uh, I think you must also look... That's why I'm, I speak about the Oscar thing, because when he slipped and the ball went into the net, Kuna wasn't screaming when he was on the floor before the ball went to the net. Only when it went into the net, then he started <laughs> doing like, oh, they fouled me top. That's why, look, if, if, if this, is, this is not me speaking as a son on support or anything, but from what I saw, it's clear. And even from, from the Super Sport guys, look, I, I want you to, to, let's say as a Super Sport pundit, you know, you want things this to go to the wire and, and all that, but this is not even a controversial moment in terms of saying that that was a clear goal. There was no foul on Kune. Kune just bought the referee, and the referee just fell. 
Okay, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. The thing is, is I think, I think, look, um, fact is, you guys have the three points. The score is one zero. We mm. can debate about that. That is a clear goal and all that stuff, but it doesn't change anything at this point. Uh, similarly to when I tell you about Sanon said, mm. there was a fourth. Mm. But it was disallowed. They said offside. But it wasn't even an offside. But it mm. was a disallowed goal. So, yeah, we can complain about it and say, well, you know, these are certain situations, but it doesn't change anything at this point. Mm. Um, but it doesn't mean that we need to lie about it. It is like that. Um, mm. And points for Chiefs. And I can understand that as Chiefs supporters, you wouldn't care less at this point. It's three points and you... You mm. one more step from, from yeah. winning the league. So you're going to be like, no, take away the three points. No, it's three points. You're moving on. Talking about three points and goals and stuff like that. I mean, I see you frustrated with the lack of goals, even though you guys won comfortably by 3-0. Three, no, three, and I was uncomfortable that we won 1-0 no, because we had every chance to kill this game off. Um, they even went down to nine men, ten men, and we still we defended deeply the whole game. Um, I don't know if this is something you can you can explain, but as a manager, as a technical team, isn't these things that a manager and technical team should be instructing their players to do? Because I had a problem with us at, at in the fiftieth minute, the sixtieth minute, or whenever the red card came. The first red card for Chipa's first red card. Um, we just sat and defended the whole game. Just we sat and defended a one-nil lead. That makes no sense. Well, look. Um, okay, one, you have a better goal difference, um, so that plays a role. Mm. Secondly, um, this is the first time in the bio bubble that you guys didn't concede. Um, so I think, I think with you guys leading, there was, let's, let's put it this way. So there wasn't anything to encourage you guys to go all out. I mean, at the time you were sitting on three points. So there's nothing that says go out guns blazing. You're winning the game and it, the onus is on cheaper to come out because another dangerous thing about cheaper, cheaper, they are off the relegation zone. So. They're mm. not desperate for points in this case. Mm. So they're a dangerous team, essentially, because what you could have is they, they could just be playing for nothing. It's just one of those, like, look, let's just go out there and play. Whether we get a hiding or not, it's not going to change anything. But let's just play. So, like, as you saw, you know, I mean, Chipa, <laughs> Mish, they've been getting red cards in the past five games. I think I think in total, if I count the last five games, they probably had about five or six red cards. Mm. That is obviously concerning from cheaper that they, they need to sort out their discipline. Mm. Um, but apart from that, um, yeah, they were just the fearless team that just had nothing to lose. And, and you guys had everything to protect for because um, imagine had you guys exposed your defense and cheaper equalized mm. then you're like why did we not consolidate the result and protect our one nil lead mm. so i think Merendorp, he, what he doesn't want he doesn't want another classic situation of vets where you guys are desperate to win a game and then you get caught off and then you essentially don't win the game so yeah. already you're one up you're winning the game so play mm-hmm. it safe and defend that lead Sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, I have to disagree though. But I mean, because it could, they, like you, like 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 you said, defend the lead. But then, if the goal was given, we would have been, sorry, um, we would have been in, in trouble. If that goal was given, we've been one-one. Sundowns uh, have the advantage on that today. So I don't know. Um. Anyway, moving on. Sundowns. What is the goal difference now? How many goals do you guys just score on Saturday? In three. Order? Three. It is just three, the gap. Three, we, we're going to be the same goal difference. 
okay. if, if I calculate it properly. Uh, so then, to play it safe, let's say it needs to be four. With both teams not even conceding. So that's the thing. So if we score goals, we do we can't concede, and you can't concede either. Yeah, well, essentially it's like this. So obviously we're sitting at the same points, and the goal difference is three, right? Meaning if we're both winning the game, let's say you score one nil and I'm winning one nil, so the goal difference is still the same. But if we go on and score four, that then changes. Mm. That's what I mean when I say someone essentially has to score um, more goals. And it, it makes it, you know, it's very, <laughs> I don't know if this thing was planned or what, but it's very, it's very tricky because you've got, we're literally playing against number 14 and 13. <laughs> uh, sorry, number number. number we, yeah, we're playing, we're playing against number 14 and 13, right? And nobody's safe mm. because Baraka got a hiding. They lost 4-1 against Supersport, mm. right? So they're sitting, they're sitting on number 14. So as it stands at the moment, Baraka is going to play the playoffs. But they're mm. not safe from automatic relegation because if... Let's say they lose against you and Polokwane City wins, then essentially they get relegated automatically. So believe you me when I say that they're also in a predicament where mm. what they need to make sure is not lose against you. Mm. Um, and worst case scenario for them is going and playing the playoffs. We're playing against Black Leopards who are sitting number 13. Or maybe I need to I need to verify because they won against uh, vets mm. um, to see what's their question. But yeah. the fact that they won against vets means that it's not just the team that Sundowns can just come and score three unanswered goals or four or whatever. So it's going to yeah. be a tough game. Yeah. Right. And look, it, it's it's from from a neutral perspective, I can understand that. You know, everybody's going to be glued on every game because every game is significant in some way. You know, it's interesting and you're on the edge and all that. But, you know, as a Sanon supporter, that's not the situation now when I find myself in. Because my, my, my logic to that is, Sanon, you failed, you failed to score more goals against Kaiser Chiefs. Mm -hmm. You let them go. Yeah. You failed, you failed to score more or... Never, ne never mind scoring more goals, but you lost against Baraka FC. Mm. Today, you had to come to score more goals. Instead, even in your approach, you were a bit more cautious. So, in the last game, why then would you then think that you're going to score the goals that you need, which you were unable to score in your five previous games? Yeah. So, my logic is that that you can't then think that then suddenly in the last day it's going to be different. Mm. And the only situation I, I honestly see this, the only situation that I see Sanons winning the league is when you either guys are drawing or you're losing the game. But if you guys are going to win the game, I don't see Sanons giving uh, Black Leopards a hammering. That is something that I don't see. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at the table. It's 14th and 15th. So... Black Leopards are 14 and Baroka are 15. Um, right. Knowing what you saw against Baroka on Thursday, mm -hmm. and now they're playing Chiefs and they're fighting to stay in, you know, the league instead of going through to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. what, what do you think Kaiser Chiefs' chances are of winning? You know, uh, Mish, there's... There's this thing that, you know, I guess I'm trying to understand. Is it is it is it the Sanons me that's speaking or what? Because, you know, there's a reason why Baroka is fighting relegation. Mm. Means that they they're failing to collect points against people that you can say are similar to their size squad, uh, the club. Mm. Um so when they when they play against Polokwanisito, when they play against Chipa, when they play the, the performance level is not the same. They mm -hmm. end up losing games or they draw or whatever. 
Mm-hmm. But when they come up against Kaiser Chiefs, when they come up against Sundowns, when they come up against Pirates, it, it becomes a different Baroka. And then you then, obviously, as a Baroka fan, you then question why does the level of commitment change depending on which team you play? Yeah. Because, you know, you, you understand when they say, you know, you're playing against the big teams, so the coaches, uh, they have less of a job. They don't have to... Um, hype up or or, or or maybe just convince the players or just sell the game, you know, to say, give 100%, you know, and all that. You don't do that when these teams come. Yeah. But then it becomes a difficult job when it's other teams. So I question that to say, you're fighting relegation because you didn't collect points. You're playing a certain way. I mean, take Baroka against Sundowns. My goodness. Baroka were everywhere. Mm-hmm. They were they defended well. They were fighting for every ball. They were they were yeah. so physical. Sundowns were getting injuries all over the place. Mm. They got the goal they won. Same Baroka against Supersport today. Lost four mm. one. What happened? The level of commitment is not the same anymore. So mm. to answer your question, it's against Chiefs. It's the last game of the season. They're fighting for relegation. They've been in this situation before. So what you guys need to expect is Polugwani uh, Baroka is going to come out like a team you never saw. The same Baroka that you don't have a good record against. Mm. You always struggle against Baroka. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a tight one. I mean... I, I can ask, you know, as fans, you can talk to Chief supporters or you talk to Sunland supporters. I'm sure they'll tell you, yeah, no, we're taking it. Yeah, we're taking it. It's straight. Yeah. But if, I, if I'm being honest, uh, it's not it's not clear what's going to happen on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, we can talk about Sunland's having to score five goals. Sunland's could easily draw or lose the game. Mm-hmm. We can talk about Chiefs having to only win the game. They could lose. Similarly to how people just expect the Chiefs to just win the game and they lost when people didn't expect. So mm. it's not clear. It's not over yet. That's for sure. Um, but oh. well, <laughs> th- this is, you know, I, I, would, I, would, I would repeat what Hunter said. This is definitely, this is a nightmare, bro. <laughs> you know, like I, from, from Sunday, I, I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, these teams are giving us hot takes, bro. <laughs> like we, we can't even think clear because the moment you start thinking about it you're like can the day just be here now so we can just end this thing now because yeah. it seems these days are so far apart you're like oh my god like the stress levels <laughs> imagine if it was like normal you know it could have been like play one week the five days in between it would have been worse our stress levels would have been worse no. because waiting five days between each game you know now at least we have to wait three days but they should Ah, but thank you. Um, I don't know if you have a man of the match for our match, but who was your man of the match in your Sundowns game? I would go for Lebo Hang Maboa. Um, you know, he's been getting slack even from me, hmm. uh, but he he worked hard. He was a fighter today, you know, hmm. um, and, and, I, and I like that fighting spirit because at this point on, you know, this stage of the season, you just want warriors, bro. You want people to just fight. Hmm. You know, you... you yeah, as Sundowns, I guess we 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 hard when it comes to the the style of play. We don't want to compromise, but at yeah. the same time, we want fighting spirit. So, Casey showed that. Um, and unfortunately, and I didn't see. But I'll probably just say, give Medan Dog man of the match. I mean, the guy. I, I saw I saw a smile from the guy, and I'm like, this guy. They almost <laughs> killed this guy in the last game, and at least he looked more he looked more happy. I'm like, oh. It's more relief, I think. I think it's more uh, it's, it's relief. It's going to be such a big relief when we win on Saturday. Not if we win, when we win on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I, I'm going to obviously say we're going to win. It's because we've been, the momentum is with us now. And we can't, I can't see us losing because the whole season we've been playing at the top of the league. And I think that, that that's going to be at the, the, in the back of the players' minds. He's like, we can't mess it up now. We've been here the, since, I think, 
end of August. We've been, we haven't left the top spot, right? Since August last year. Yeah. Yeah. So now to, I think the players, to think we've gotten this far, to blow it on the last day is, is the worst thing that can happen. So I don't see us losing. No worry is the goal difference. Um, but I, in, for, in that regard, that's why I believe we will win the league. What makes you think, what makes you believe that Sundown could win the league? Is there some, well, is the there even that, a feeling among Sundown fans that they can well, win the league? Well, the, 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 fact, the fact that both of us have not been consistent. That's yeah. why I'm saying um, I can understand you or anybody else saying Sundown's achieves will win. Because this is you cheering on your team, you have belief, mm. you have hope. Mm. But if we just take out emotions and just look at stats, mm. um, you know, people who, who who like betting companies, I'm sure they enjoying their monies that they're getting because it's so <laughs> unpredictable at the moment. Because, you know, you go you go you go back from the first game in the bio bubble. You know, Sundown's draws against Pirates. Cheese draws against uh, Feds. Um, Sundown's draws against Highlands Park. Chiefs um, won against, I think, Polokwane City. Mm. Um, Sundown's draws against, um, um, or lost against uh, Cape Town City. Mm. Uh, Chiefs, um, I think you guys lost or something. Or you drew. And then Sundowns draws against uh, Marisbeck United. No, yeah, you drew, you actually lost against Celtics. And then you and drew Celtics against Stellen. you drew to Stellenbosch, yeah. And then Sundowns, again, Chiefs meet up. Sundowns wins. Yeah. And then you go, momentum you think is on Sundowns. And then what happens? Chiefs loses against Vets. Lose, Sundowns then you loses against the... <laughs> so, so, if we're looking at it from a stats point of view, I think for anyone to say, yeah, this is what's going to happen. I think it's a classic case of, let's say, if you miss say, yeah, we're winning the league. And I say, I'm winning the league. Well, one of us is going to be right. Hmm. But, yeah. we, we, <laughs> but we're not sure. We're not sure who it is until it happened. Hmm. Right? So, yeah, it's, it's, still, it's still something that a lot can happen. You know, I mean, we're talking here about our teams winning. What if our team both draw on the on they both draw or they both lose? Mm. You know, it's it's we 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 think that we know what's going to happen and we hope certain results. But it's it's so yeah. The the, the what's funny is all the top teams that are fighting for the league are so inconsistent at the moment. The only consistent team it's Cape Town City. That's the only consistent team. Since the buy bubble, they've been winning their games. Mm. Whereas we've been dropping points and dropping points. It's like we've been handing each other. And what's funny is that it's almost like Sundowns and Chiefs are playing this game where Chiefs loses, Sundowns loses. When Chiefs draw, Sundowns draws. Mm. When Chiefs win, Sundowns wins. It's like they, they copy and paste whatever yeah. performance they have. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, we wish you luck. Wish, wish all the best of luck to Chiefs on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't. It's, it's going to be so tasty. It's going to be so exciting. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that it's come down to this in a way, but I'm not happy that we left it till the last game, like you said. But uh, it's, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's good for, it's good for football in the country, I guess. Yeah, look, it's, it's good for entertainment value, I guess. You know, more mm. people are watching, more people are talking about it. Mm. Uh, people can't stop thinking about it. Mm. Um, I mean, hell, even in this load shedding, you know. Um, <laughs> so, well, the nice thing is that the games are going to be playing at half past three, right? Um, and I can only hope that ESCOM will not disturb the country. Like, they must just wait a minute with their load shedding. They must mm. just chill. Postpone whatever they need to postpone. We don't need any load shedding on Saturday. Like, they must just leave us alone. Certain parts of Pretoria, they can shut down. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in Marabastad. <laughs> 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 All 
<laughs> All right, brother. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, cheers, man. We'll see you on Saturday. Speak to you on Saturday. You're watching Amakosi for live. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Amakosi for live. And give us a like on Facebook.